Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use testosterone. This video is part of a video series on sexual medical problems and for those of you looking for more of these videos, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Now let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewers, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. The generic name of this medication is testosterone, but it's sold under several brand names, among which Andriol, Androgel, Nabido, Sustenin, Testavin, and Tostrin. And it's available as a capsule, gel, or injection. Which brings us to the question, how should you use testosterone? If you want to use it as a capsule, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water and do so at fixed times. Take it preferably when you are eating a meal as this lowers the side effects. As an injection, testosterone should be injected deep into a muscle, preferably your buttocks or your thigh muscle. And if you're giving this injection to yourself, your doctor will instruct you how to exactly do it. If you want to use it as a gel, then it should be applied in a thin layer on your skin. And through your skin, testosterone will gradually enter your blood. And it depends on the brand, which skin area you can choose to do this. Androgel should be applied on the shoulders, arms or stomach. Testavin on your shoulder or upper arms. And Tostrin on your stomach or inner thighs. Only use the gel on healthy parts of your skin. Do not apply it on your genitals and differ the place where you apply the gel each day. Clean and dry the area first, apply the gel in a thin layer with your hand and let the gel dry for 3 minutes and afterwards wash your hands immediately. Now testosterone is an androgen, also called a steroid hormone. It is the male sex hormone, which plays a role in the development of male sex organs and it also has a function in the maintenance of your skin, your muscles, your liver, kidneys, bone and central nerve system. Therefore, testosterone can be used to treat deficiencies in the testosterone levels in men. Which brings us to the correct dosages. And here it's important for me to say to always use the prescribed dose and frequency your doctor gave you. And I can just provide you with some general guidelines here. If you want to use it as a capsule, the dosage usually is 120 to 160 milligrams per day for two to three weeks. And for longer use, the maintenance dose would be 40 220 milligrams per day. For injections, the usual dose is 250 milligrams, usually one milliliter, once every three weeks deep into a muscle, or 1000 milligrams every 10 to 14 weeks. If you want to use the gel, then the dosage differs per brand, but usually you need to apply it once a day on a fixed time. Which brings us to side effects. Testosterone is a very effective drug, but it can have some side effects. I will just name a few of them here, but if you're looking for a complete list, check your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. Now when using gel, very commonly it causes a reaction of the skin, a hypersensitive reaction, a rash, itching, dry skin or skin irritation. And commonly it might cause changes in your blood values, mood disorders like anger, impatience or even aggression, problems sleeping, a headache, diarrhea, hair loss and it can cause prosthetic diseases. When using testosterone as an injection, it commonly causes changes in your blood values, it can cause weight gain, again an enlargement of your prostate and reactions of the injection side, itching, pain. Uncommonly it causes hypersensitivity, increased appetite, high blood pressure, dizziness, nausea, diarrhea or night sweats. Considering the safety of testosterone, it's safe to combine with any type of food and you can combine it with alcohol, of course, in moderation. It's also safe to drive when using testosterone, but it can cause some interactions with other drugs. So always discuss this with your treating physician. And as always, we end these videos off by taking a look at its safety during pregnancy or when breastfeeding. And unfortunately, testosterone is dangerous in both cases. So please do not use it. Now I hope you know now how to use testosterone, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep learning, check out the playlist in the description or I will link it up there. Furthermore, I recently made a Patreon account and I want to thank all my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter and thank all of you for watching this video. Now, before you go, let me remind you to please leave a like. This will help out the video tremendously and consider subscribing so I can keep educating you on important medical topics. So please subscribe, 
And then I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.